show up. That is never in doubt. But I ask you, which other Cav do you need to see step up the most? Their other all-star, Kevin Love. Mm. I mean, he's been pretty pedestrian in the series. I mean, he hasn't had big impact. He's averaged 15, 11. I don't care about numbers. It's had, they've been hollow numbers, in my opinion. There's no impact behind it. So when you talk about the other guys, he was never in that category. He was the other all-star. Now we group him with the others. He's going to need to have a big night. I'm rolling with this, the big shot. I'm taking Kevin Love, too. The reason why they started Baines, they said his productivity wasn't going to be enough to beat him. I'm going anyway. to say George Hill because, you know, he dictates things at the top, but his penetration, his drives and kicks, he has to have a big game for them like he did in game, what was that, three? Mm -hmm. When they came back home. He has to be big for them. Fair enough. We're back with a little NBA countdown to the bottom of the yeah, hour. Back to you guys. Watch us. Don't believe me, just watch. Beats, thank you. Uh, by the way, Jalen's jacket. Woo, smooth. Um, J.R. Smith decided no jacket required. No sleeves either. But they're going to need something from him tonight. 26 points in the series. 20 of them coming on his home floor in games three and four. They need production from the other players. We'll see if we get that tonight. It's hard for me to believe, but it's been eight years since the decision. Eight years since the guarantee. We'll never forget this, right? Not two, not three, not four, not five. They kept going. LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, they did bring two more championships to the Heat before LeBron took his talents back home to Cleveland. And here we are again, less than two months away from another decision for LeBron James. But as David Menemann tells us, for now, LeBron's sole focus is leading this franchise back to the NBA Finals for the fourth straight year. And it all comes down to tonight. The attendant free agency of LeBron James sends the impact of this collapse to another dimension. You've seen the clip undoubtedly dozens of times by now, if not more. LeBron James, following a playoff loss to the Boston Celtics, tore off his Cleveland Cavaliers jersey before he even made it to the locker room. And Cleveland fans wondering if that's the last time he'll take off a Cavalier jersey. The year was 2010, and the moment signaled the end to LeBron's first stint in Cleveland. And this fall, I'm going to take my town to South Beach. The ghosts of LeBron's past will be in the building for Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals, when, once again, he faces the Celtics in an elimination game. And, once again, it comes in a playoff run leading up to an offseason rife with speculation as to what LeBron will do. I don't believe that he has a great option out there right now. With all the question marks swirling around him these days, LeBron's allowed his mind to escape in a good book. During the conference finals, he's cracked the spine on The Alchemist, the book coming to him as a gift from his longtime athletic trainer and friend, Mike Mancias. The Alchemist tells the story of an Andalusian shepherd boy named Santiago, who sets off to discover his personal legend while journeying through the North African desert. A line from the book, often cited for its inspirational message, reads, quote, When you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. What does LeBron want right now? Where is his head at facing another career crossroad against the Celtics? He told me after the Cavs game five loss, quote, I like the challenge. If you put the challenge in front of my face, I'm going to go for it. Cleveland! This is for you! LeBron believes his personal legend is already secure. He's found his purpose. He has his family. He still loves the game of basketball all these years later. His journey has led him to here in this moment. A player on the Cavaliers trying to win a game in Cleveland in front of his home fans on a Friday night. In other words, his jersey is still on, and it will stay on as long as he can find a way to win. Dave McMenamin reporting much more. Let's go to the queue. Rachel Nichols from The Jump joining us now live from Cleveland. And, and Rachel, you know, that's the LeBron side. Let's go to the other side. How much confidence do the Cavs have in their role players tonight? Well, at least they're home, right? So <laughs> historically, that has been a good thing for them in this playoffs. It's funny, we had Richard Jefferson on the jump today. He was, of course, part of the Cavs team that won the title. And I asked him, how do you know when you're going to get good J.R. Smith or bad J.R. Smith? And he just looked at me and he said, 
If I knew that, I would be talking to Ty Lue about it. They, they really, look, there's no way to predict this, but Ty did say that talking to J.R. at shoot-around, going with him through the day, he has confidence we're going to get aggressive J.R. Smith tonight, that he's going to be looking to knock down those shots. And, and when he's doing that, it really does energize the whole rest of the team. Different guys on this squad have different roles. He is a hype guy, no doubt. And when he is hitting it, especially those three-pointers, it just infects everyone. It also improves not only his defense, but everyone else's defensive engagement. So look for that early. All right, so I see some Celtics behind you shooting it, and I want to know what the mindset of the young Celtics players tonight, considering they are one in six on the road. Yeah, they got that against them, and then they also have just the fact that they haven't been in this situation before, right? The idea of closing out a series to get to the NBA Finals, that is a huge, towering event. And yet, when I asked Brad Stevens about it, I was just walking through, through the hallway with him. He looked at me and he said, this team, they're just not scared of anything because they've faced everything already. So they don't think there's something that they can't do. Instead, it's almost the flip side. They're a little bit too naive sometimes of realizing what a huge, huge achievement Achievement it would be to win this game tonight. He said they're ready though. They're aggressive. They're like little peppies out there They just want to go for it. We'll see if they do that tonight Sometimes it's good not to know what you're actually facing the Celtics now eight to one favorites to win the NBA championship They were 100 to one at the start of the playoffs Rachel Nichols live from the queue on Sports Center. As we get you said by the way the playlist the queue so far has been fantastic We have Pearl Jam and Wu-Tang playing right now Marcus Morris. What do you got tonight? Hell, the Cavaliers, the three of ten shooting and nine points in game five. Is that defense ready to show out tonight? We'll find.